I think you retired at 33, Howie. Does that sound right? 34. Uh, I played in the Pro Bowl at 34. So, yeah, the season was 33. Yeah. But, but, you know, do you, do you have a day where you go, hey, this is, this is the day I make my decision? Like, did, did you have a moment of clarity where you go, okay, that's it. I'm going to retire. <clears throat> well, my problem was, in terms of family, I had three sons. Chris was eight at the time. Uh, and with football, you, you just, it, particularly at that point where I played 13 years and not a dollar of my money was guaranteed. Uh, when you start getting up towards double digits in surgeries, you know, that's one part of the equation. The other part of the equation is Chris is eight years old and I'm not there for burger day. I'm not there for, you know, dad day. Uh, <clears throat> and I seriously wanted to change that given my background. I wanted my, uh, my father son relationship with my three boys to be, to be different. And, you know, I never regret it. I had the opportunity to coach little league baseball for eight years, high school football for eight years, uh, watch them all kind of go on their way to college. And like you said, you know, your situation was kind of similar where, you know, wait a second, what are we doing here? This is going to be over, you know, before you know it. <clears throat> and I'm glad I did. I really am. And, you know, I, I don't want anybody to retire. If you want to play, continue yeah. to play, you know, unless you, uh, your body says you can't play any longer. But what do you think is at the core of this with Brady? He wants to win championships. It's all about championships. I don't know if you do inventory with the Buccaneers and say, I don't know who's coming back. Can we still win another championship? Then you start to factor in with family. I think Giselle has been campaigning behind the scenes for a while to have Tom retire here. So how do you think this plays out? Well, I, I think there are, there are players who, who are consumed, and then there's Tom. Uh, Tom's at another level. And, and that's not just, you know, August through January. That's the off season. And the kind of trick to it is, and, you know, you have to pay the piper because the older you get, the more you have to do in the off season. And I think, you know, Tom make, made a good point that, yeah, you do have time off in the off season as a football player, but for that six months, seven months, you're, you're checked out. Uh, whether you've been it or not, because, you know, it, it's, it's next week, it's on to the next week, you know, forget about last week and it's on to the next day. And, you know, in those days, Wednesday, Thursday practices were, you know, full go live goal line, live inside run, live pass rush, live team period. Now they're in hats and, you know, physically, I think players are, are capable of playing longer because they're being taken care of more. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if he walks away, but I think that could be in part to maybe Tampa is not going to be one of the elite teams next year, given they got to re-sign some people, salary cap issues, all of those things.